Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see fast way to import any image sequence inside the VLC Resolve. So now we are inside the VLC Resolve and this is default interface of the Resolve. Downside, you will get different types of tabs here. So first, we have to click on this edit. So now we are inside the VLC Resolve timelines here. After this, we have to select folder from your drives. So this is our main folder and inside this, these are our actually two image sequence here. So this is our first image sequence. And this is our second image sequence. So now just we have to import. So simply just we have to select this folder and just we have to place into over this timeline here. So simply just select and just place into over this timeline. So now if we will play and check. So now simply just I have imported over this image sequence inside the MC Resolve. So like this, just you can import any image sequence inside the MC Resolve. But suppose same image sequence if you want to import through over this media pool here. So how we can import this image sequence from over this media pool? So now same as just I am going to import over this second image sequence. So now if you will select and drag and drop here. So now you will get actually this is not importing your image sequence. This is importing as a independent image means. So all this image this is just importing as a single image or separate image here. But we have to import as a image sequence. So for this part we have to do. So again just we have to select all these clips and just we have to remove from this media pool. So for this before importing any image sequence inside this media pool first we have to check one option here. So for this uh, on top you will get these three dots here near to this search bar here. So first we have to click on these three dots here. Then go to this frame display mode and just we have to select over this sequence. Now just import same image sequence here. Select this folder and then drag and drop into over this media pool here. Simply just we can select and then drag and drop into this media pool. Now if you will see. So same image sequence that I have imported over to this media pool. Then after this, suppose if you want to maybe change your image sequence, maybe frame rate, all these things, then simply just you can right click on this media. Then go to this clip attribute and just you can select this video frame rate according to requirements here. Then after this, you can go to this edit and just simply just you can place this image sequence into your timelines here. So this is actually another way, but if you are importing through this media pool, then we have to check this options. So again, just click on three dot then go to this frame display mode and just we have to select this image sequence. Even if you are importing through this drives here, then you have to again, same first we have to select this sequence option. Then only just you can import this image sequence inside the MC resolves here. Now same as suppose if you are importing your media files from your drive, so simply just you can select. So now again, this is same media files here. So simply just if you will open this one, so you will get this image sequence here. But if you will not check this one, so by default, they will select maybe auto. So you will get like this independent image. Okay. So just simply just you have to check this one first sequence. Then only you will get this image sequence. And just simply just you can drag and drop into this media pool. Then after this, you can place into this timelines here. So these are actually other options here. Like this, simply just you can import any image sequence inside the MC Resolve. So guys, till here I have completed over this class. So if you like this video, please watch, share, comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.